Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry for ClF3 molecule. To determine its molecular geometry, we are first going to start with its Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure of ClF3 in which fluorine atom is forming bonds with three fluorine atoms and it also has two lone pairs of electrons because it can have expanded octates. Now if you look at its shape in 3D, you can you might wonder that it can have a trigonal planar shape when uh, there are no lone pairs attached to it but if you look at its shape it mostly appears like t-shaped molecular geometry and it is quite evident but to confirm it you can either use steric number or you can use the axn notation method to uh, confirm the molecular geometry of clf3 here we are going to use the steric number formula to see if t-shaped molecular geometry is the right answer for clf3 so uh, when it comes to steric number it is the uh, some total of all the electron regions on the central atom here the central atom is forming bonds with three fluorine atoms so th there are three regions of those and there are two non-bonding pairs of electrons and hence there will be a total of five uh, electron regions around the central atom and hence the steric number will be five so um, if you refer to this table the molecules that have steric number five and have two lone pairs because there are two lone pairs on this uh, chlorine atom have t-shaped molecular geometry Hence, the molecular geometry for ClF3 is T-shaped and it is quite evident even if you look at its 3D structure. So, I hope this video helps you to understand the molecular geometry of ClF3 which is T-shaped. And for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.